All right, guys. One of the big questions that we get asked pretty frequently is more people are getting into night vision, starting to do their own research on what system works the best for them and where they want to invest their money is PBS 31 alphas versus Actin Black DT and BS. And so we wanted to do a quick comparison video, go over some of the pros and the cons of each and really so you guys can understand what it is that you're getting with both how they perform, some of their differences, and that way you can make an educated decision on what fits your needs best. We're really big on application driven with night vision and there really is truly no one system on the market that in our opinion has absolutely everything that you need and that you want. So you're gonna have to make some sacrifices no matter what system you go with. So right here we've got the Actin Black DT and BS and the L3 Harris PBS 31 Alphas. So we'll just dive into the DT and BS first and go over some of the features of this goggle and, and what you see. So both of these are, are an articulating system. So what that means is you've got a bridge which with the two pods that articulate and move up and down on the bridge. So that's something that's immensely popular with people out on the market. Articulation is a really nice feature and that's what draws a lot of people to both of these systems. So the DTNBS is an articulating goggle. The goggle is powered by a single onboard CR123 battery. You've got your on and off switch here and you have an onboard illuminator right here. The DTMVS uses PBS14 style optics so as most binos on the market they use PBS14 style optics so one nice thing about that is um, these optics are very easily to replace and um, it's a lot it's very familiar with a lot of people. You've also got uh, an adjustable ocular with your PBS14 uh, style ocular lens, and you've got a dovetail mounting solution. So if you're using a G24, which is what we recommend, your dovetail just slides right down on your helmet. Other than that, uh, one thing that is important to note, you do have the option of adding IPD stops. This is not something that comes standard with the goggle. Um, and what IPD stops are is, you can rotate these knobs and that releases a little bar that comes out and stops your articulation of the pod so you can match this to your interpupillary distance and which is the distance between your eyes. So that is an additional uh, add-on but it is not something that comes with the goggle. Other than that it's a very very simple goggle. Um, one feature that this has that the PBS 31s do not outside of the onboard illuminator is independent pod shut off when articulated. So what that means is if you've got your, your unit powered on and you take a pod and you flip it up, this pod will shut off. And so that's really nice when uh, driving or using a weapon mounted thermal because um, with your, with, you don't have your eye directly behind the tube and you flip it up, you don't know where this pod is facing. So if you're facing something that potentially is a light source that you don't want to damage the tube and it shouldn't be looking at and you don't have, uh, you're not aware of that because you're not, your eyes are behind the tube, that independent pod shut off is a very nice feature and um, something that we recommend to hunters that are um, dropping down a wet amount of thermal a lot or using a handheld thermal to scan. Also when driving, that feature is nice if you need to just flip your pods up. Um, but that's your DTNBS, and we will go into the PBS31. So this is the PBS31 Alpha from L3 Harris. This is a, a very advanced goggle, and it has a really good reputation in the special operations community because this is really um, what this goggle is designed for, and luckily, the commercial market has recently been able to purchase these. So you can purchase these as a civilian and they are fully warrantied by L3 Harris and do have product support. So just going kind of front to back, um, the PBS 31 is also a articulating goggle. It's powered by an on bar, an onboard AA battery or a battery pack that is included that plugs right into the Fisher port right here. Um, so one nice thing about that is people that use your goggles a lot, one thing that gets annoying is coming in here and constantly removing your battery cap, opening it up, putting a battery in because we don't recommend storing these with batteries in it and um, constantly putting that back on. 
and ready to go. That is something that you're going to have to do with the DTMBS versus the PBS31. You're simply plug and play. Also, the optics are proprietary optics. So, one big difference between this and the DTMBS is the optics that L3 uses. Optics are something that a lot of people overlook and are very important because that plays in a lot to your overall system resolution. So your system resolution really comes down to two main factors, the glass that you're using and the tubes that you're using, because even if your tubes are the best tubes in the world and your glass is poor glass, then you're cutting the overall system resolution because you gotta think, you're looking through this tube through two pieces of glass. So one of our favorite things about the PBS 31 Alpha is the optics are incredible. So the system resolution holding both tubes the same, you will notice a definitive difference with looking through the same tubes with 31 optics compared to PBS 14 optics. Also one of the biggest features that the PBS 31 Alphas has is manual gain. So right here with this knob, you can adjust the brightness, which is what manual gain means. That gives you the manual ability to turn up the brightness or turn down the brightness, which is incredibly important for a couple of different reasons. When you're using a system like the DTMBS, this is an auto gain system, which really just protects it from extreme highlight ex exposure. It's not gonna give you the dynamic range of brightness control that a manual gain system gives you. And so you're gonna come into a couple factors that you notice with that. People that use their night vision a lot will often be very big proponents of manual gain. And the reason is because eye fatigue and brain fatigue comes into play when you're behind these systems and you're using them a lot when you've just got max brightness shining back in your eyes, that's something that can fatigue your eyes, it overstimulates your brain, and you don't have the ability to tone in the brightness to the image that you really want. So manual gain is gonna clean up some of the noise that you see in tubes. It's also gonna give you a longer duration before you start fatiguing as a user. So manual gain is something that's hugely important and um, we are big proponents of. So if that's something that you think would fit your needs, the PBS 31 Alpha is a, is a great great way to go. Um, like the DTNBS, you've got a dovetail mounting solution, so slides right down into a G24, and you have IPD stops that are integrated into the actual uh, PBS 31 Alpha, so you don't have to buy these. After the fact, it's something that's already included, and when you look at the cost of the IPD stops for the DTNBS, these are $475. Uh, addition. So that's something that definitely goes into play when you're comparing both systems. The PBS 31 Alpha already has it on it. Um, so how that works is you've got your, your screws underneath here that go in and out that stops the distance for your eyes, um, much like how the DTMBS works. Also one thing to note is, and a lot of people talk about the um, fixed diopters that come on the PBS 31 Alphas. Because of how this diopter is designed, this is going to give you a lot more forgiveness than, say, a fixed setting on PBS 14 uh, style ocular. So these are really optimized and will work with about 95% of people. Um, if you have really bad eyes and these don't work for you, then you can easily screw out this diopter and add an additional diopter that um, is available from L3 and uh, so you can tone it into your eyes. But I will say from personal experience, I have a really bad astigmatism in both of my eyes. And on systems that use a PBS 14 style optic, I run them mostly at negative two diopter, which the PBS 31s come with a negative 0.5 diopter. And I can truly say from a, a usability standpoint, I notice no difference or no need to change these diopters. So. Um, for most people, it, it really is a non-issue, um, but it is something to consider if that's something that is important to you. Um, so really, when you look at another main difference between the PBS 31 Alpha and the Active Black DTNBS, this is a finished good from L3. So when we get these, these come in the kit, which we'll show you in a second. And this is built and built by L3 Harris. So we are not building these in-house. This is something that is a finished good from L3 that we purchase and then uh, send out to our customers. We can uh, assist with any warranty work. It's pretty easy and it's not, not lengthy lead times by L3. So that's one of the concerns of some people going with a PBS 31 as well. You know, what if I need a warranty? 
and although anything that we would do with the DTNBS, we would do in house. Um, typically, your warranty on your warranty work, if needed, on a PBS 31 Alpha going back to Insight, is really 30 to 60 day window. Um, so nothing, nothing terrible. Now the DTNBS. This is a product that we do build in house. So we buy the housings, the tubes, and the glass, and, and we assemble these. Um, to the finished to the finished goggles so any service that you need we can service those um, and you can also customize the tubes that you want in here really the biggest plus of being able to pick your tubes in here is if you aren't wanting to spend really in that twelve thousand dollar plus range but you want articulation you could do something um, like a 20 UA and tube which is still a nice tube but not as high performance as say the 2376 uh, 16 tens that come in these tubes, you can go with a, a lower performing tube and the DTNBS still have your articulation. Um, when it comes down to what system works best for you, it's you just got to ask yourself what you value. Um, we're a big proponent of PBS 31s because of the manual gain. That's something that we love. Um, the DTNBS are also a great system as well. Um, I, between the two systems, as far as best sellers, they sell pretty pretty equally and um, it's something that there's a lot of both of these systems on the market but they are different and that's why we want to go over the the differences of those now moving into the kit when it comes how it comes with the PBS 31 alphas those do come to kit um, these come just the goggles with your lens caps and if um, you do order a high foam system um, we do ship this in a GWA nods vault um, starting We've started doing that about a month ago. Um, but so this would come to GWA Nods Vault with the high foam systems. If you're not doing a high foam system, um, it just comes just the just the goggle, but you can always purchase that later. If you do do the PBS 31 alphas, those come with the full kit, the battery pack, and all that, which we will go ahead and dive into now. So diving into the PBS 31 Alpha kit, how it comes from L3, they ship all ship in this multicam bag. You're going to have your battery pack that's right on top. Then inside the kit, you've got your eye, cup, eye cups, the cable for your battery pack, set of batteries, the goggles themselves, Wilcox amber lenses. And then you've got your um, user manual and some lens tissue, which we don't recommend to use because that can actually scratch your lenses. Um, and that's how it comes. So you've got the you've got the full kit, you're ready to go, and that is how they ship from L3. So moving into the practicality of some of the features of the PBS 31 Alpha that the DTNBS does not have is looking at the battery pack. And some initial feedback that a lot of people typically think with the battery pack is, oh well. You know, I don't need the battery pack because I'm not going to use out use the 30 hours that the CR123 gives you on the DTNBS. But one thing that people overlook and is definitely a factor and a benefit, like we said before, to people who are going to use their goggles a lot and end users that don't want to keep messing with taking on and off the battery cap to install and remove a battery because you should never store your system with a battery in it, is the ability of the plug and play nature of the battery pack. So. Like we said earlier, the PBS 31 Alpha has a port to accept a battery pack. So what's nice about that is you do not have to run an onboard battery. You can simply plug in to your G24, take your cable, and plug in right into your system and power on the goggles and you're ready to go. That's a lot faster than taking on and off the battery cap and it's a lot more convenient if you're a user that uses your stuff a lot. Um, also, one thing that's really nice about this is it doubles as a counterweight. The PBS 31 Alphas are very, very light, and so you really don't need additional counterweight um, that you do with other systems because you have the included battery pack. And you'll see this, this is in our improved counterweight kit, which if you do our aviation grade option for the PBS 31 Alphas, the improved counterweight kit is included. So you've got retention to your helmet and your battery pack is protected, uh, but we've gone over that in another video. This is simply to show the benefits of the battery pack of people that people don't really realize uh, right away. But that is your PBS 31 Alpha. 
versus the, we'll put the DTMVS on here to show you the difference. Versus your DTMVS.